Hello everyone. In today's video, we will take a look at why you must learn Power Query to augment and improve your data analysis skills in Excel. By the end of this video, if you watch the complete video, you will be able to be hands-on on Power Query and you will be able to learn the tricks to improve your data analysis skills and enhance the way you data, do data analysis in Excel. So watch till the end. Before we begin, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analysis in Excel and Python. And now let's delve right into it. I have opened the Microsoft Excel. Now I'm going on the data tab and I'm going to click on new query and I'm going to load the CSV file. I've obtained this data set from Kaggle. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download this data set and also you can follow along in this video. So I'll open this Unicorn Startup data set. It contains the information of, of various startups and when they became the Unicorn. So the data set has now loaded in this window. Now I'm going to click on transform data. I can directly load the data if I wanted, but I want to do some transformation activities because for most of your data analysis, you need to do a lot of structuring and organizing your data before you can actually begin the analysis. And we'll see how Power Query helps you augment your skills in the way you clean your data and also structure your data for data analysis. So I'll click on transform data. And this will open the Power Query editor and load the data for you. So you can see the data is loaded. Now let us do some transformation on the data. Let us take a look at this data. It has some columns, company, evaluation, uh, what is the valuation, date join means, when it be became the unicorn and the country and some few other data and the investors, right? Who are the investors investing in this, in this unicorn startup? So let's see how we can transform the data and make it more fit for data analysis. So first is I'll remove this column. I don't need the unique ID. So I'll click on, I'll right click and click on remove. Now we can see valuation is in text format. I actually want to make this into numeric format because for any data analysis, I will have to make this into like, like numeric format to do any numerical competition on this. So let's see how we can do that. I'll click on the column and now I'll, let me see what I can do. I'll click on extract. So I'm going to transform and I click on extract and text after delimiter and we see how easy this is in Power Query without having to write any formulas. I'll click on the dollar sign and I will hit on OK. And there you can see it has removed the dollar sign. Now I can just change this data type into a whole number or a decimal number. I want the decimal places as well. And you can see it has converted it into a numeric data type. So easy without doing any coding. And next, we want to make our date into the proper format. It may look appropriate you know, right now, but always people who have, have worked in Excel would have known that we can date from different regions in different formats and from different countries, right? So here, if I see, I just try to make this into, into the date format and see what happens. I click on data, I keep getting error. Why this error? Because the date on my computer or in my region is set to DDMMYYYY format, but the the date from the region that I've got imported this data form is stored in MMDDYYYY format. So it's giving an error. And this is a common problem we face in Excel or any other data analysis task. But let's see how we can easily streamline this in Power Query. I'm going to click on this cross that will undo the step. The step. Okay. And now let's see how easily we can do this in Power Query using AI. I click on add column and column from examples. I'll select form selection. Okay. Now, all I need to do is give it a few examples of the type of, uh, of you know, format I want. So I'm going to say 4-7-2017 should be represented as 7-4-7-4-2017 MMDD wire format. Let's do, do for the next one. Uh, sorry, DDMM wire format. 1-12-2012 DDMM wire format. And you can see it has figured out most of the part. Let us give, give, give the example for the missing values, which you couldn't figure, uh, figure out 23 slash one slash 2014 hit enter. And you can see it has figured out all the data accurately in case any errors, always take a look at the data and, and correct it. But I think it has got the AI has got almost everything correct. So I'll just click on okay now and I'll drag this column and place it next to the date column. It's so simple. Okay. Now I can remove the date column. And I can double click here and rename this to date join. And let's try this to format this into a 
a date field because for any data analysis for time series analysis you need this to be a date column so i'm going to click on date and voila you can see is transformed it into the proper date format in the ddmm yyyy format which is as per the local as per the local and the region of my machine right so this is fine now and now we can see you know beautifully i can copy this query and i can reuse this query for if i want to do different transformations on the same data you can see how easy the, to repeat the steps i don't have to do it again and again so let's see what we want to do first of all the select investors now is in the comma separated format and i really cannot make much use of this data for data analysis for example i will not able to know from this data that which are the investors or, or are in, are investing in how many companies or what are the valuation of the companies that they are investing in i cannot get the analysis from this kind of data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this data set into two parts so now i'm going to copy this this again copy and paste this query again all right so i have now two queries i uh, now in the in the primary query which is my primary data set i'm going to delete this column as it's of no use for me click on right click on remove, remove. and in the other you know query i'm going to now work on this column and do data analysis on this column you know vis a vis my data and see how i can get more intelligence on the investors and how they are investing and how many investments each investor has made so how to do this so let's say first i need to separate this right i need to get each of this data into a separate column so i'll click on this and i'm going to click on transform and i'm going to say split column by delimiter okay and it's already chosen comma so i'll click on okay and you can see now it has split the data into different columns the last one is showing null because there may be some blank value so wherever there is null i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click on home and click on replace values and just replace this null with na so i have a not applicable type na so click on okay and there you see now all i need to do is i need to pivot this data right because i need to actually have this in a column fashion so let's see how to pivot this data and get more so i'm going to click on all the other columns click on shift and select all the other columns except the investors and i'm going to transform and click on unpivot columns unpivot other columns because i want to pivot the other columns and now you can see nicely it has made all the the row values into column values so i can just delete this attribute column remove and rename this to investors and now you see how easy it is for me to transform this and get information on each investor like each investor is invested in which company what are the valuation so let's see how to do analysis here only before i import this data into excel it will simplify my analysis task further let's see now i have got this data let's see how i can group it so i'm going to home i'll click on group or i can go to transform yeah and click on group by click on group by and i'm going to group by investors and what i want to do is i want to count the rows that means how many investments each investor has made so i'll count rows this is one column okay and uh, let me go to the advance and add another column now i want to count also the average valuation the average valuation of the companies the investors are investing in so i'm going to click click on on average and i'm going to select the valuation column click on okay and yes it has given me the average valuation all right so now uh, i have the uh, the count so i know secura capital china has invested in 30 companies and the average valuation of the companies is invested in it is is 11.92 billion so i can sort this and the beauty of this in excel we can do sorting on one column here i can do nested sorting so let's see how we let's see how we can do that so i'm going to sort by count and then valuation so click on this sort descending should it show me this is my first sort uh, in a sort order now i click on the valuation and again i'm going to sort this also by descending so it is first sorted by count and then by valuation and now now you can see i can really know the importance of the investors for example tiger global management has made 42 investments but of only 1.96 billion average so i can see secura capital and secura capital china are much better because uh secura capital china has made 30 investments and each is of 11.9 billion so if this company is investing in a in a unicorn startup it would be a fair bet 
for anyone who wants to invest in this company it would be a good bet to invest in because a big investor or, or a big player is investing in this company so the success rate is much higher now let's see what more we can do i'm going to remove the na row because that is not good for my analysis Okay, I'll now uncheck the NA here. And now the NA portion is good. And I want only the, the large investors or the big players. So I'm going to say those investors whose count is greater than 7. Okay, so I'm going to filter here. Number filter. Greater than. Or let's do 6 for that value. Okay, 6. I click OK. And now I know now I know the large investors. Now all I need to do is click on home and click on close and load to and it will load my data into Excel. It's showing where do I want to place it. So I'm going to click on load. And you can see now my two queries have loaded. You can see the two queries are in the query window. In the first sheet, I have my base data, which I can do my analysis. And in the second sheet, I have my investor data. So I can click on this and I can insert a report. Okay, if I want to see which investors are of you know value to me. So I click on this bar chart and I can see it has got the, the report. Okay. And now I go to the other sheet and I can do some data analysis. Then we'll try. So I'll click on this insert and click on pivot table and I'll do it in a new worksheet. Okay. And let us drag the date join into the rows column. And let's write the company into the value column. And now let us insert a pivot on this, uh, a chart on this or a pivot chart. So I'm going to hit title, uh, try the line chart. And you can see, let me make this better, more readable. Make this into, let's change that alignment. Okay, and let me go to the design or pivot analyze and remove the field buttons. And now it's more readable. And you can see in 2021, the, during the year of the pandemic, there's a spike. More companies became unicorn startup, maybe because of more investments. And you have this data as well, which you know, shows you which companies are investing more heavily. So now you can see how Power Query has simplified this data analysis task for you, know, for you and how easy it is to repeat this task. And if you have seen my previous videos, you will know that if more data comes in, you can directly copy it in the folder. You can use the import from folder option and you can run the same Power Queries to automate your data cleaning task. This is how data analysis is completely augmented or Power Query has changed the data analysis in a paradigm. And the also beauty of using the Power Tools is that you can use the same concepts in your Power BI reports as Power Tools are available in Power BI as well. If you want me to make more videos on Power Query tutorials and explaining each concept of, of Power Query, leave a comment at the bottom of my video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video and I'll be making more videos on data analysis. I plan to make videos on Power BI as well. Thank you.